Hello everyone, it's Comfort Beach Ambesh. Long time, yeah, it's been long. Okay, what I have for today is how how to integrate mobile money payments to your uh to your WordPress site. Okay, why 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 do I have to choose WordPress? Okay, with WordPress you'll be able to integrate mobile money payments to your website without knowing how to code. So in this tutorial, we are not going to write any code. Instead, you're going to be using the already already baked plugin so okay let's get started so i, I have already logged into my flutter account the next thing is the next thing you have to do is you you need to make sure that you have wordpress already installed on your web on your website okay i, I do recommend installing using uh, soft if you are if, if you if if your skills if your skills are not at developer level Okay, Softcura, soft 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 curious comes with a uh, C panel, which is the world's best control panel for web hosting. So, I do recommend you install using soft curious. So, uh, I have this domain. Let me just use it from here. I have this site, which is with Nimbo. Yeah, I have this this site, which is a fresh website. I just inst I just installed it. Yeah, I just yeah, I just created it for testing purpose, so I may delete it anytime soon, but not now. Okay, so uh this wit.numbo.com it is the site we are going to we are, we are going to be testing from. Yeah. So okay, enough of the talking. So uh I have installed mm, I have installed online store by theme themes for WP by themes for wp so let's get started so we you need to okay what you are going to do is you need to install a plugin which is called a rev yeah rev yeah so you need to go to plugin section plugins and then add new add new so what you are going to type in here is uh all e-commerce rev payment gateway or you can just type in a rev. Okay, so I've typed in rev. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. Wall e-commerce rev payment gateway. So uh, you need to click on install. Yeah, so this is this is the right one which we're going to be using in this tutorial. I've never tested any of these apart from this one so we activate it okay i forgot to mention we are using all e-commerce so make sure that you have wordpress or e-commerce already installed on your wordpress site yeah if you want to follow up with this okay the next thing the next thing is to go to all e-commerce settings yeah okay let me repeat this again. You need to make sure that you have WordPress or e-commerce plugin already configured because in this tutorial, it this tutorial is based on WordPress or e-commerce store. Yeah, so make sure that you already have it configured. Sorry that I forgot to mention it at first. I was supposed to. Okay, so the next thing is to set up a payment method. So you need to click on payments. okay 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 by default it should so yeah so uh you need to switch on this one you need to yeah you need to activate it okay uh save changes you click on save changes okay so when it's your first time okay so uh when it's your first time setting up this one it should it should say manage yeah it should it should say yeah it should show manage okay so uh the next thing you have to do here is to click on manage so i'm going i'm going to pause this video a little bit because it contains some some of my private secret key and public key of which is not supposed to be shared with anyone else so i'm going to pause this video a little bit all right fam so the next thing you need to click on manage uh, to some of you, it may show setup. Yeah, because there, as for me, the reason why I show it manage is because 
I once installed this plugin, so I need to click on manage. But as for you, if it's your first time, it will show setup. So I need to click here. Okay, so okay, so here it is. So what you are it is requesting for uh live public key, live secret key. Okay, so here you need to make sure that this one is not ticked. You don't have to check this one. So uh, if it's your first time, it will bring like this. So what you have to do is to uncheck this one. OK, and then you are going to get a live public key and live secret key. So how do we get that? You need to go to your Flutter web dashboard. You log in and then uh, you need to click on settings and then API. So when you click on API, it's it's going to show something like uh, public key secret key so you need to get that public and secret key so uh, you need to copy that public key to here and secret key to here. yeah to here. yeah sorry sorry okay and that live secret key to here yeah so that's how it works the reason why i'm not clicking here on api it's because it contains some confidential details that i use yeah that i use yeah so uh okay so i'm going to pause this video a little bit so that i can get my api my public and secret key paste the, the public key here and the secret key here and then i'm going to save yeah i'm going to save changes yeah so the next so what you have to do is after you copy your live public key and secret key the next thing is to click on save changes so i'm going to do this process in the background yeah, I'm going to do this process uh, on the background. Yeah, I'm going to do it on the background because I have to pause this video so that I copy and paste the public key, the public key API and secret key API, API to here. And then I save changes. So I'm going to do that in the background. You also have to do that. Okay, the reason why I'm not going to show I'm, why I'm not going to, the reason why I'm going to pause the video is because uh, API key and secret key are very very confidential stuff. Yeah, as I can see, I don't have to disclose it with anyone else. So what I'm going to do is to pause the video once again. Pause. All right, fam, let's continue. Okay, so after you're done with everything, you get your public key and secret key. I'm not going to scroll up here because it, it contains my public and secret key. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is to click on save changes. So I'm going to click on save changes and then the changes will be made. I need to pause this. Okay, and then the changes will be made. So I have to click on save changes. All right, all right. Here it is. It has said your settings have been saved. Yeah, so the next thing we have to do here is let's okay let's try to add a product for testing yeah for testing so how do we do that well you have to okay let me click on the dashboard dashboard products let me click on the dashboard products and then okay, okay you just have to click on products here on the left sidebar on the left sidebar on the left side bar let's see okay so these are the products on my site so i'm going to add one okay please make sure that your flutter web account is in production if you want to test for mobile money payments okay there's okay there's someone who commented on my previous videos to say uh it was not able to process payments so please make sure that your flutter web account is in live mode and the second and second make sure that you have some uh some money equivalent to what what you are purchasing with this so here i'm going to say uh test with test with the with with the with level scheme test with the le with level scheme on the description i'm not going to push to put anything and on the categories i'm going to say uncategorized i'm not going to add any feature image on regular price i'm going to put 10 10 
Yeah. So, and then the next thing I'm going to say, uh, publish. I'm going to click on publish. Okay, let me close this tab. I may mistakenly open it. Okay. Yeah, great. So uh, now let's refresh our website now. Let's refresh it. All right, all right. You scroll down, you scroll down. Recent products. So this is it. Test with wheat levels team. Test with wheat levels team. Yeah. Okay. Need, need to empty my cart. Okay, what you have to do is, so here it is. This is how war e-commerce works. So I'm going to click on add to cart. Cart. Yeah, add to cart. And then uh, here on the cart, I need to check out this one. Check out. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, these are the, these are my details. In case if you want if you want to contact me in private, so my phone number is zero nine six eight seven nine three eight four three. Yeah, this is my phone number, my personal phone number, which I use on WhatsApp. Yeah, which I use on WhatsApp and for private calls. So, this is it. You fill in this form as a customer, and then you place order. okay we wait for it okay my network can be a little bit slow as i always say yeah okay the next thing is to click on pay now okay it's loading yeah so this is it okay let me make it clear once again if you want to proceed to this step uh, if you want to proceed after this step the first thing you need to make sure that you need to make sure that you have what can i say you need to make sure that you have uh let me say you need to make sure that you have your let, okay let me repeat all right so uh okay uh there are some disturbances so right, let's continue so let me make it clear again if you want to proceed after this step you need to make sure that the first thing is your flat of account is in production mode they're not in testing and the second thing you need to make sure that you have more than the specified amount here which is 10.35 zmw which is like 10 quarter 35 in way if you're a zambian so and you choose the network so i'm going to go with mtn okay the next thing is proceed so they have sent an otp they have yeah they have sent an otp to my phone okay let me check it let me check it out okay i've received it yeah so four eight seven seven eight okay yeah a push notification has been sent to your phone please okay yeah a push notification has been sent to your phone complete the transaction by entering your pin so it has popped up here so once i just enter the pin and then the transaction will be successful but you know this is just for testing and i don't have to waste my 10.30 yeah yeah okay okay that's it if you want to integrate flutter of payments to your wordpress site i'm not going to proceed by entering my pin so on my phone it had it, it it has brought something like enter your pin to proceed your transaction for 10 quarter 13 way but i'm not going to enter my pin as i said this is just for testing purpose all right fam okay for those who may who may like to contact me as in private yeah as in in private i'm going to leave my contact details in description yeah i'm going to leave my contact details in description yeah before i do that but you can contact me on okay phone number my phone number phone number uh zero nine six eight seven nine three eight four three email 
ML comfort some base 04 at gmail.com so these are my contact details for those who may like to be in touch with me yeah these are the contact details these are the contact details thank you for watching and in the next episode i'm going i'm going to create a video on how to integrate mobile money payments using python django with a verification yeah thank you